Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And holy shit. When I seen this, I said, boy, just imagine. If this comes out as a trilogy... Like basically you're getting a bundle deal, all three games digitally remastered. Yeah, it'll be some of the dopest shit that we would get our hands on in a long fucking time. So let's see what this article has to say real quick. Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto franchise has been mirrored in what seems like an endless procession of rumors lately. And we're not just talking about the long overdue sixth installment that's slated for 2025. Fresh reports are not indicating. Yeah, you can hear it. You can hear it thundering out there. Fresh reports are not indicating a remastered Grand Theft Auto trilogy, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is in the works from Rockstar's Dundee studio in Scotland with the tentative release date of late October slash early November this year. Boy, just imagine in another fucking two months, we get a Grand Theft Auto 3 Vice City in San Andreas. Whew. Boy, that shit'll be off the fucking chain. Compatible with every console from PS4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch to Stadia, eventually arriving to PC and mobile devices in 2022. Holy shit, they really trying to put this shit out to everything that's available that someone could play on. That's some good shit. The possibility has been discussed for some time now that only recently alluded to by Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two Interactive, which confirmed plans for three unannounced refreshes of classic titles, although some speculate this could involve the likes of Max Payne, Bioshock, and Bully instead. Hmm. According to an unnamed inside source who has spoken to Kotaku, oh fuck Kotaku, all three games are being remastered using Unreal Engine, blending a mix of new and old graphics. One particular source who claims to have witnessed a snippet of the games in action firsthand stated the visual component was extremely reminiscent of the classic GTA titles, heavily modded versions. Throw in the fact that entire shotgun spray of DMCA takedowns were fired off to remove said classic GTA mods as the remastered games were announced and suddenly it all makes sense. Wow. I had no idea that even that even took place. The UI for each game is facing something of an overhaul as well, though will retain a good portion of the same classic style. At this stage, no details have been revealed about gameplay on the unofficial front or otherwise. Although Kotaku has on good authority that the coming trilogy will try to stay true to the PS2 era GTA games as much as possible, which is currently a comfortable for more nostalgic operators among us. Hmm, I wonder how that'll work. I guess we'll have to see, right? The goalposts for a GTA Remastered trilogy has apparently been shifted due to the coof. Initially, the intention was to release all three games in a single package, gifted to players who purchased the upcoming next-gen release of GTA 5 and GTA Online as a thank you bonus of sorts. Now it seems like Rockstar wants to make some actual dough. Hmm. If all goes well in the old sales department, this could potentially lead to a remastered edition of the original Red Dead Redemption. Huh. That's interesting. So, what do y'all think about Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas getting a complete remaster to come out at the end of this year? Me, myself, if they do that shit, I'll fucking buy that shit. I'll buy that. I'll try to get that shit for 60 bucks. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... I hope it actually comes out, and I know it's going to be good, but shit, I'm excited for it, and hopefully you guys are too. Like I say, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. 
please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media. Trying not to get rained on. <laughs> and I'm out. Peace.